we have Eli here on, with guys? me today. It has been a while since I've checked in, but I've had a lot of travels and a lot of life stuff, and we've officially started Operation Unit. Damn it, boy! Featuring Eli. So it's been about a month since we've fully started with our new coach. How is that going for you? Um, it's really cool just to see the changes already um, already happening in, like in my body, uh, with my body, uh, just with the movements alone that he's assigned me to, to do right now in this block. Um, do you think your mindset's changed at all? Absolutely, my mindset's uh, com completely different. I don't know if it's due to the fact that we're actually you know paying a coach and you're we're, outside we're, of me we're in, um if i i don't know if it's mentally just that that i feel invested or i mean it, 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 it i get a sense of like it feels official too you know like i'm officially training so like i don't know it's it, it, it matters more to me in my head i mean i'm sure to everyone else you know they have a different rational rationalization of um, why certain people get certain mindsets uh, during prep, but for me at least, it's knowing that I'm invested in it um, financially, and financially physically. and physically, and just watching myself grow in this short amount of time. Like it just makes me so excited for all the growth long term, and you know where I'm going to be, say you know five months from now, a year from now, yeah. etc. Hell yeah! So we got some big plans going i would like to start showing some of your check-in photos alongside with mine if you're okay with that absolutely okay i want to get this on tape just to kind of like document but like also just to share because i know that that's been an issue in the past is that you're like i don't know how much i want to share and i never want to overstep my boundaries mm -hmm. and i don't but I do know that it would show value to you guys because you're a friend. Absolutely. And you guys could see, one, the short term of the changes that are happening with me already. And two, uh, it, it, it makes it real. It makes it so that – because you guys know me. You guys, If you know me, you know me. Yeah. And you know the kind of person I used to be and the kind of person that, uh, that I can be. Um, and it, it just goes to show what, a little bit of persistence, a little bit of discipline – a little bit of not caring what other people think or you know when it comes to like what you do or what you can't do and what you what limitations you place on yourself or you know looking at it looking at certain things as limitations or disciplines you know like it, a lot of its mind state um and and all that has changed in such a short amount of time um plus also like you guys get to see if you look at the pictures from before i started to now you'll see the real time change mm -hmm. And that's also something that is weird for, like, me particularly is that, like, I already did a prep and honestly, like, I'm so glad that I did record and document because looking back at all the changes that happened, that I still don't really comprehend it and I really, I didn't realize how bad of body dysmorphia I had until, like, now, which I'm five months removed from my last show. And I'm like, wow, I looks great. And I, I, I remember like just picking myself apart constantly and not actually say like not seeing that I made any changes. So I want to protect you with that. I want to share with you guys like the man and the woman perspective of things. And um, and yeah, so I'm just really excited to have you more involved because I think it we can help a lot of people. I hope so. But, but also like help ourselves, you know, uh, again, just to kind of one, not beat ourselves up as bad because like, I, I know I do like for me is like, am I good enough? Am I doing enough? Am I, am I ever blank? You know, like it, it's just always like this constant feeling of insecurities, I guess, but like also not cause like I'm also a very confident person because of because of lifting and because of like all of my healthy lifestyles is that like I know I'm doing good and that's what I focus on is like each day each day each day but like just unpeeling peeling back that onion of okay figuring out like how we can be better with you and I mean what she just said it, it, it harps on and like goes full circle with what we've been saying and what what I'm sure we've been beating a dead horse with about you know, the gym, not only does it help you sharpen yourself, you know, 
like iron sharpening iron, you know, you're, you're here working on yourself. It puts you in that mind state and, and reminds you that you're working on the best version of yourself. And it applies to everything in your life. Mm -hmm. If you, you mind, know, body, business. these disciplines aren't just here for in the gym. It'd be, it'd be kind of okay. stupid if, My you know, <laughs> it's okay, I'm going to take over yeah. for a little bit. Like, it'd be kind of stupid if we, you know, we take the time and we do, we learn all this discipline and we only apply it while we're here at the gym lifting heavy things, you know, like this is stuff that is applicable in everything, every aspect of your life. So like, I mean, it not only has this helped me physically and I look and I look the best I've ever looked in my life and I feel the best, but I'm also like outperforming and, you're 31. and I'm 31. I'm going to be 32 this year and I'm in the best shape of my life. But it's also helping me outperform, you know, what I've done at work and my mind state at work and helps me keep a level head. Um, I mean, there's more factors to just that, too. You know, just the situation just at work has gotten different, you know, too. but the discipline discipline is absolutely everything. I know Vanessa has harped on this a lot that um, inspiration and uh, motivation. Uh, motivation is fleeting constantly. You know, so don't don't get stuck in being motivated. Don't, don't wait till you're motivated to do something. Do it, it even whenever you're not motivated and it, lean on your disciplines. Exactly. Like what do writers do when writers have writer's block? They go out for a walk or they do something. Or they, they do write. fucking or they write or they yeah, they just ramble or whatever, you know, but you need to do something. So, um, yeah, I'm super excited to have you and, um, we've considered maybe doing like reaction videos or response videos to some other YouTubes. Uh, we've talked about doing like basic daily vlogs or just check in. So let us know what you guys are interested in. If you guys have any specific questions then put them in the comments below. Um, I'm thinking about doing the secret code word again, just mm -hmm. so we can start engaging. So pick a code word that they can, if you guys are still watching. The secret code word for today is going to be discovery. Discovery. I like it. So the emphasis of the code word is just drop it down below and then we'll start engaging with you. Like you can put it in, you could just write discovery or you could say like, Thank you for the discovery of fitness or whatever. Use it in a sentence. But um, we want to start using those just to start getting to know you guys. And again, just figuring out what information you want from us and what we can do better in our videos. Like obviously I didn't have my mic on today or anything like that, but I do have it. And I have been using my Pivot Pod. It's just, it's been crazy. So um Moving forward, we are going to show you my secret trip that I did last week for my mother's birthday. So, thank you guys so much.
guys. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, look at my nose hairs are kind of gross. But yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, let us know if you want to see some skits or something. Oh, yeah, we can do skits. That'd be a lot of fun. Stuff. Yeah. But like and subscribe. Smash that like button. <laughs>